Uh, he's the champ. He's who everybody thought would probably win the bracket challenge. The drummer for Young the Giant, Francois Comtois. Hopefully I got that. Uh, how did I do with my French? That was, a, I'd give it a 95%. Okay. Actually, All right. Freaking close. Yeah, we don't aim for perfection around here. Uh, congrats <laughs> on winning the bracket challenge. Uh, you had Baylor beating Gonzaga in the national title game. Uh, you also had Connecticut going to the Final Four as well, Francois. So do you know college basketball? Uh, I would say I have a, uh, a glancing knowledge of college basketball. Actually, the reason I, I won and the reason I put UConn in the Final Four were both because of my brother-in-law, who did go to UConn. He gave me good advice on the, on the uh, championship game and not such good advice for the Final Four. Um, is there going to be a song off this win? Are you, go- are you going to be able to write something off winning the bracket challenge here? Yeah, I mean, I think just... Touching on these feelings of uh, surprise, I actually thought I was in last place as of yesterday morning, uh, and then someone pointed out that I hadn't paid attention. I did so poorly for the rest of it, and then I, I realized that I actually picked the right two teams for the uh, the finals. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely uh, start, sparked some ideas. Uh, how are you gonna? Did you celebrate last night like a rock star? I had a couple beers and I went to bed at uh, nine forty-five. So. <laughs> But did you used to have a, a time where you acted like a, you know, like a tour bus days and hotel rooms? Yeah, road? well, I mean, we haven't toured in about a year, so uh, it's, I kind of forget those days. But yeah, definitely <laughs> when we were starting out in the, in, in the early 20s, there were some, some late nights uh, and early mornings and early morning calls where you regretted the late nights, but um, we've slowed down a little bit. And uh, you're from Canada? Yeah, I was uh, born in Montreal. Oh, okay. And uh, you, how did you guys come up with Young the Giant? We we tried to change. We had a, an original name from when we were a high school band, and it, you know we wanted to do something different, and just kind of threw everything at the wall, and that was the one that stuck. And in retrospect, it's about the most difficult thing to pronounce. Um, so I don't know that it was a, a great name, but uh, we're sticking with it. Did you uh, ever meet the Cana- best Canadian drummer of all time? Neil Peart? Yeah. I, I Unfortunately, I didn't have the chance, but um, I'm a huge fan, and he was a big loss for the, the, the Canadian family, definitely. Well, congratulations. When do you guys get back in studio, or when do you guys start to tour again? We've actually been taking advantage of the, the year um, to write and record, so we're hopefully going to have a, a fifth record um, within the next few months. And then... <clears throat> Shows are, are starting to pick up again. So we have some uh, shows coming up in April and then a few festivals throughout the summer. And then hopefully we can do some more, uh, you know, deep touring in 2022. Well, we hope that you'll uh, be in the bracket challenge next year as the defending champ. I, I mean, I think I have to at this point. This is definitely a perfect example of beginner's luck. Um, and this is what happened in my, my uh, fantasy hoops league. I won the first year. I am in last place this year, so uh, winning the bracket kind of helped me balance it out. If you can uh, stay on hold, we'd like to get uh, your address to send you some uh, DP show gear. Oh, cool. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Francois, thank you, and uh, congratulations. Thanks, appreciate it. That's uh, Francois Comtois, the drummer for Young the Giants. I think I'm 95% uh, there.